What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Like, usually when I have to buy tickets and stuff, it's not because of stream. It's like off stream. I like, I go way too deep on something. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll spend like eight hours on a brew that doesn't make the stream and I'm dropping like 01, 02 all the time. Just like, drop. I, I, I've even like, I even like drop off stream. I'll drop leagues at like 2-1. 2010 because I know that I know the deck list needs to be changed and I like it's just a waste of time for me to spend uh, for me to spend like three hours playing out a league when I need to play test a new version for the stream. So I've I've had to buy tickets because of that in the past, but it's pretty rare for for it to happen. It's not really because of like league drops. Playing against Mill. I didn't pay the Immerkle tax today. It's probably okay. They have a Surgical though? Come on, brother. I think it's better to play IRL or Magic Online. I, Paper Magic is incredibly fun. <laughs> better than anything else. You can do whatever you want. I rent cards, usually. Yeah, I did see the two mana rule of law on the card. Is, the card's pretty exciting. Okay, so my win condition count has gone down some stuff soren plus this blood ghast uh interesting i feel like against mill i'm just racing cycles of fractured sanity four cards in their hand didn't mill over any blood ghasts I draw a smallpox, but I put it missed their land last turn. I think I'll probably just cast a smallpox here. Discard the profane tutor. But what land will I sacrifice? Maybe awkward if they have another surgical. Also turns on archive trap. I think this is okay though. They, they, they missed a land drop. Let's let's <laughs> let's smallpox them. I think I'm keeping every card on top here. Is it a card? Keep it on top. Oh, they discarded Archive Trap. Mm, not sure if they realized. Two mana Rule of Law of Upside's insane. I, I like it though. Like, Rule of Law is really. It's just too slow. Let's let's update it. Patch patch it up. Although in it, it actually has a downside in EDH. I'm sure people EDH players are mad because the card has like red color identity or something. <laughs> yeah, just keep any card on top here. <laughs> like they probably view that as a downside it's funny basically any good deck running real walls off and also have red I think, that'd go. That's so. I think the color restriction stuff is like a little too hardcore in EDH I think they could really tone it down I'm probably not the best person to ask on the topic though okay put after missing a lane drop has hit runner 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 maybe they just didn't play their land that turn. I don't know. Doesn't seem that likely. Did I see Avid Interrupter? Yeah, it looks really bad, I guess. The fact that they only have to they only they only have to spend two mana on the on the spell. Assuming I'm understanding it correctly, they just can spend two mana and, and get it done. Yeah, I did not pay the Immerkul tax today. Should know better. I'm just going to bring in Void Walkers over the One Ring. Complain Ashiok. Worst neighbor, happy two years. Welcome back. Appreciate you.
only on sorcery speed. That's true, yeah, but I, I just don't know how much that matters. A little bit, sure. So if you get counter spells gone, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not that not that excited about it, like only being good against counter spells. Um, it could be like a meta game dependent thing. It could play better than I think, but at the moment, it just doesn't look very good. I'm gonna mulligan this on the draw. Um, let's keep this hand. Could profane tutor for an Urborg kind of easy? I guess I'm putting back Void Walker since I just I'm gonna go Thoughtseize into Suspense Suspend probably. Uh, Ashok does stop their search of Field of Ruin and their fetching and stuff. It, it, it could be good just to play 61 also. It's kind of funny that that's in plus board against me. Let's take the, the glimpse. So Raylan's looking pretty good in mill. I wonder if they'll cycle the, the visions of beyond or not. Suspend. Second crab is pretty obnoxious. So do I need to thought seize the visions lest they draw? I guess so. Black source would be a nice pick up this turn. Not really a black source, huh? Yeah, I mean I just can't I just can't afford to lose or let them draw three out the visions. I just will, I just will lose. Archive trap's gonna be online next turn anyways, might as well play this. Well, I still have back streets in my deck. We may have to settle this in game three. Ashok is better on the play also. A little bit more inc inclined. Have it on the play. So do I have another shadowy back streets in the deck? Oh, they have a, they top decked a Boro. It's so gross. I did finally mill a blood ghast also, or two blood ghasts, but then they just crept incursion me. Go up to 34. Let's take a look what we got left in the deck, but not sure that I'm continuing to play this game. So we grab Liliana, play it out. What is high noon rule of law cost? It's two mana. It's a white and a colorless. Just rule of law. Players can cast one spell a turn. And for five mana, you can sacrifice it to deal uh, five damage to any target. It's pretty nuts. What could my opponent be thinking about here? Surgical extraction. All right. Let's go to game three. All right, bring Ashiok in, register 61, post board against mill, click submit. NT plus Liliana and Rakdos Scam. I mostly think that the Rakdos Scam deck is worse than the mono black build for, for <laughs> pretty, pretty clearly. You, I also don't really love NT if like your only synergy with it is like Liliana. I think you really want to have like street raids and stuff. Okay, this hand rules. Yeah, I, I I agree. The art is bad. I wish I had, I wish I didn't have this art. What can you do? I'm I'm a I'm a big hater of the arts the style here. I feel like they could have done them better, but I think they just look so bad. Put it on a multi six. Thoughtseize has also been feeling really good, like with so many people putting ley lines into play. Could you do more brewing on stream with Thunder Junction? I could. I'm not going to. Um. Okay, three crabs and a surgical. I'll take the surgical, I guess. The, the thing is, it's like the brewing is best done off stream for a new set, like to have stuff prepped and ready to go so we can jump into it instead of being like spending time brewing the decks on stream. I, I need, to, need to have stuff ready to go. Kind of surprised they graveyarded a Boro. I feel like they would want a Boro on their triple crab draw and it also let them play another crab. Thank you for the blood gas, I guess. Go 
go well with my Soren. So third crab, they feel the ruin two mystery cards. <laughs> they did draw two fetch lands. Fuck. Probably still winning. There's another bloodgast. So I can. There's another bloodgast. Can I haste these bloodgasts? I might be able to. Because I'm going to go two, two. Let's see what we draw. Another Vein Ripper. So how many blood guys? I have one, two. So if I if I go Soren, sack, sack, target a crab, and then Liliana Edict, they're going to lose six. I'm not going to be able to haste the blood guests. So I guess I just attack first. Train you for two, train you for two. Two more. Yeah, Sword and Dome 5 is only five, because I don't I don't get the two from killing the crab. I'm also just gonna play around archive trap here. Seems like one of the main ways I would lose is playing into an archive trap. Uh, I got 27 cards in my library. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> they do have another fetch land. I'm down to 21 cards. I don't think Atasha's as likely to get me, but it might. Crypt Incursion, they go up to 20 life. I guess this is the fun outcome. So make them discard their last card. We will kill their Ruin Crab before we attack. So they don't get the block. I guess it's kind of the same. Twenty cards in my library. I think if they have like a lucky Tasha's, they could get there. That's it. That's seven. They're at eighteen. What are you saying? We do one of those powerpoints for modern playable thunder injection cards. Um, yeah, probably. Ooh, ooh. I I did a, like a short video yesterday. Uh, because yesterday was just so exciting. I guess I could have clinged to dusted in response to that. To that. Didn't matter. Okay. Beat Emrakul without paying, or beat Mill without paying the Emrakul tax. On the play. Certainly keeping. Hoping, hoping we can scry into a black source for smallpox flagstones and Liliana. Yeah, beating triple crab. Soren Vane Ripper's been really good today. I don't know if it's like a metagame thing or if they've been good this time. I was watching Dingo play them. I guess I don't I don't think like better in this deck, but I remember not being in love with them when Dingo was playing them. Call coffers giveth, cabal coffers taketh away. First copy's worth playing. I still think. Windswept Heath. Atashi with the 46 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, Valky back on the menu. Be exciting time. Play around Stub. It's about dropping Pox Ring Tutor or Grief Scam Persist. Uh, nah, I don't know. The Poxes have been awesome and the Rings have been awesome and the, tut the Tutors are like. Uh, Soren Vader is much worse than the Tutors. You could play Grief Scam and Persist, I guess, but also your Persist are worse without Smallpox. Smallpox, like, also, like, the for me, like, I, this card rules at the moment. I really want to be playing for if I can in this kind of deck. Nanker with the four months. Thank you. Welcome back. Soren Vein Ripper is showing to be pretty strong and timeless. Yeah, you have Demonic Tutor in that format, too. Well, you only get to play one, but it's pretty good. All right, land. Damn. Binding Kavu, Nakano, Lightning Bolt. 
Yikes. Um, take the car boom. I have to go back to Hirobi. What does Hirobi do again? It's making me read cards. Is what it is. Let's go to game two. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what a, what a card. Alright, I'm gonna bring in the Celestial Purges. Cling is kinda slow. It's okay. You can play Cling. Do I'm gonna cut it though. Have you cascaded Valkyrie you can play the side? No. <laughs> you used to be able to. They changed how the rules work because of that interaction, and it was the most broken modern deck of all time. Hirobi's pretty cool. Actually, so I actually read that card recently. Because I feel like there's almost something with Black Spirit. There's no payoff, but I have this ready to go if there's ever like a Black payoff for being Spirits. But Blood Gas, you have like a lot of Spirits that could come back from the graveyard. You have Souls of the Lost, Demigod of Revenge. I like this card too. So you, you like ETB, sack your blood gas, and then uh, kill, make your opponent sacrifice a creature or just draw a card if something else has already died. Probably not playing Thief of Hope. I don't know. But there's no, there's no payoff I, that I can find. So <laughs> one day, maybe Modern Horizons 3, we'll, I'll get to play my Black Spirit deck. Probably a small box deck too. Oh, go away, Cabal Coffers. It's like I, you put me in the deck, brother. Okay, but into the mold of six also. Don't have any April Fool's brews. I, I just don't like to do gimmicky joke streams. Like the content doesn't do very well and it's not interesting for more than like five minutes, ten minutes. I think I think the internet in general is like really tired of April Fools too. <laughs> There's like several years that April Fools was like the worst day to be online. I think I think I feel like people are just kind of over it. Yeah, the VTuber stream, I don't know. I could do something I could do something like that. Like I could just be more entertaining, but but yeah, I just kinda I kinda feel like people are over <laughs> April Fools on the internet. When it's deep in the tank here. Just surveilling Liliana of the Veil to the top. I was kinda so expecting a um Leyland of the Guild Pact, turn one. I'm going to play Takanuma so that they don't know that they don't have to fetch a Black Source. Oh, on April Fool's, I could just play Murktide. <laughs> I could play, I could, yeah, just play Stock Yogmoth, Stock, Stock Rhino, Stock Titan. It's kind of funny. I like the thought. Come on, Ragavan. Give me a fucking break, dude. <laughs> the only good card for them to hit here. So I'm going to Profane Tutor for another Liliana. They did miss a land drop. I could grab smallpox. Yeah, and then I also just... Oh, <laughs> let's go! No shot. I just drew freaking flagstones. Okay, I I accept Ragavan hitting the Thoughtseize now. Or even. They discard a Ragavan. They sack their breeding pool. The one ring. Okay, I'll take I'll take a free blood gas in the yard. Let's go. Not as, as if as if that turn <laughs> couldn't even get better. So not a super unsuspected ragavan here. If I draw a Liliana uh, or one ring, I'll kind of be happy. I didn't use a removal spell yet.
Could have saved my land, I guess. I have the ring. It's maybe better if I draw smallpox. <laughs> okay, third Ragavan? Yeah. I guess now that I have uh, two pushes, I'll just attack and push in combat. Play around fourth Ragavan. Not really worried about stub at this point in the game either. See if they find their second land anytime soon. How does spree work with Chalice? Should you just counter the spell always? Like, I feel like the mana value should always be one. So I think they're thinking about bolting my blood gas. So thirsty to draw another smallpox here. Gonna sandbag the lands at this point. Go, blood gas, go. Like they definitely have a bolt. It's kind of funny they haven't drawn a land this long. They did draw the fourth Ragavan. So because I'm, I think it's so likely that they have the uh, card lightning bolt in their hand, I'm going to plus my Liliana. Game three. Funny game. I even boarded out of thought season. Ragman hit it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still complaining after winning the game. Um, I think on the draw, I'm actually going to go up the, to the fourth one and just get down to two profane tutors. Just kind of slow in the matchup. We got so rewarded for tutoring smallpox that game. They just never found another land. And we drew flagstones for turn. Yeah, Edgar's missing, huh? You need to find him in Thunder Junction. It's actually kind of close. We're on the draw with Soren, Vein Ripper, Fatal Push, Purge. We have just a Surreal Land. We have 20... Let's we'll see, we have 23 lands in the deck because the, the Coffers doesn't count. I'm going to bust up the Hypogeometric Calculator. I guess we had, could use the Calculator command. Okay, so Population Size... 53, number of successes, 22, sample size, 3, number of successes, 1. This is my chance to draw a land before turn 2, 80%. Is there a backup deck? There is, but I don't know. I'm, I'm having a ton of fun. I, I'm probably just going to play this today if that's okay with you. Ding, ding, ding. Sure, when Rag affects this too. Yeah, it's tough. We have the Fatal Push. We have a Rag. Yeah, Ragavan also stops the Surveil. Sarah for the 12 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Best draws. Flagstones. <laughs> Imagine drawing Urbor Flagstones, dude. Seems like a multi me, but maybe that's too aggressive. 20% to not play the game, 80% to play without huge upside. No, this hand has huge upside. That's what you're missing, is that a hand that contains Soren, Vein Ripper, Fatal Push, Celestial Purge is, all, is exactly what you want on the draw in this matchup. It's, it, it, these, this is like the exact like curve you want, and we're, we're missing lands, and then we have a tap land turn one, but um, dude, they just does just have all the Ragavans. Uh, but the, the, but yeah, I, th I think what you're missing is that this is exactly the kind of hand you want. Like yeah, mulliganing is we're, we're not you know, <laughs> the, this hand has like such huge upside is is why I wanted to like do the math to keep the hand. Take the ragavan because it can mess with my surveil. It's really need to find land number three. Also, just can purge the Kavu. Not, not doing so bad if they don't have it. 
Twitch.tv, 20 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Buffalo with Twitch Prime. Thank you. You're doing well. We still we do still need to find land number three, but land number three is easier to find. Also, Cabal Coffers is live now that we have the Urborg. Plays the Flooded Strand we knew about, and his Lightning Bolt Tribal Flames mystery card. I don't draw a land for turn, but it seems like we have some time. It's even kind of okay. I mean, I, I was going to be pretty all right if my opponent, like, Tribal Flames... My Vein Ripper sack Territorial Kavu, and then I got to gain four, drain them for four. Nah, that's a good with the 12. A lot of the subs, thank you all. They've been really nice lately. Seraph, Twitch.tv, Buffalo, Naz. Oh, boy. Is it missing you, y'all? And then Stub. Usually, usually these lists have four Stub. We haven't seen it yet this match, though. They're in his bolt, tribal flame. They also not playing Gigantha, um, so they could have like subtlety in their deck list. Yeah, Urborg does complete their domain. It's kind of funny. Looks like they're maybe thinking about just blasting me here. Exile doesn't trigger the Ripper. Well, the, the tribal flames does. Okay, so I'm down to eleven, kind of, kind of at eight. We not only draw land, but kind of the best land. Your mystery cards and counter spell, good beats. Still battling. Can't binding this without a creature in play. That could be their last card, Leyland Binding. They decided to lightning bolt me. Um So if their if their hand is tribal flames, tribal flames, tribal flames, bolt, we lose. That would be that would be a way to die. <laughs> That's not their hand as they play a second strand. Sorry for rhyming. Coupe de Graal, the 15 months. Thank you, welcome back. Bolt end of turn makes me think that, yeah, their mystery card was another burn spell. And they just bolt by Soren. Um, so... Just, just attack for six and play a Bloodgast. I mean, they, with, with them having no cards in their hand, like, I don't know how they're beating this Vayne Ripper. Vayne Ripper's been really good. I, I think like back when like like the the CFB team did the whole uh, Bane Ripper Soren thing and Pioneer, like I don't think it was that well positioned in that meta game, but but like since then everything's just kind of shifted to like so much like Leyline Scion versus like like Yog Moth and like Bane Ripper is just kind of sick at the moment. Although maybe it's maybe it just as great, <laughs> maybe it's just been good this whole time. I have a hard time imagining it's a playable modern card. Okay, too many lands into no lands. Gonna go to five. Gonna go to four. Give me that seven back, I guess. Keeping this on four. Embarrassing hand, but... I'm not gonna go to three. I'm gonna also... You don't have to minute tank on my turn, opponent, if I mold a four. Just, just take your turn. <laughs> Maybe they'll have Urborg. Maybe we'll draw Urborg. Might throw a Vayne Ripper in the sideboard of Coffers for the Yogg matchup. Yeah, it did seem, like, very tough for them to beat. Things, 29 months. Appreciate you, homie. Thank you so much. Yeah, they, they definitely printed Pick Your Poison at the right time. I think they knew what they were doing with that card. Okay, after a minute and a half, my opponent is playing Mill. <laughs> should I should have played put the Emrakul in the sideboard, huh? Think of me putting Inti in seven blasts, flashing three bowmasters. Epicur is such an enabler in that deck. I think Epicur is fine. Um, Epicur is a good card. I I'm not excited about splashing for bowmasters. When it says, "Please tell me you're playing a random deck," I don't know how to respond to this. But I, I like I like I like I'm not playing bowmasters in like mono black decks, you know. Like Bowmasters has been feeling to me like at a at pretty significant all time low since it got printed in Lord of the Rings. Is it a playable modern card? Of course. Is it a modern staple? I, I would I would say yes, but I'm gonna let my part look at the deck list. If I if I draw land land, we could win this game. I don't feel super confident that I'm like letting them like sideboard perfectly against me. If I draw one land two, I can like cycle cling to dust maybe, draw land three. Didn't play Bowmaster last time. Play Coffers. Yeah, we were we were like, you know, we were uh, we're twelve and one with four Liliana, zero Bowmaster, and Mono Black, no Coffers at the moment. And 
think Bowmasters could take it or leave it. Yeah, and I, I just don't think making your mana like a lot worse in your Urza Saga deck is correct. To facilitate Orcish Bowmaster is just not worth it. I think Blue Black Ring Shadow should still run Bowmaster. Yeah, I would probably play Zero. I was actually thinking about that deck a little bit and how it could be good. But I I I I really think a lot of a lot of players who are playing these black decks are just so attached to their Orcish Bowmaster. Because for so long Bowmaster was so good that like you would just splash forward in decks too, and like like you'd play Blue Red Wizard splash for Bowmaster, but it it's really just it's, it's not that card anymore. Winning this game would be fun. So Bowmasters for Stalker, yeah, yeah. Just, just I'm, I'm just not that excited to play it. Like, I would still play it in Yogmoth. I would still play it in. I, I don't know if I'd actually play it in Scam. Probably would. GG Dogfish. You, you trophied right with the the Jun Shadow, right? If I'm misremembering, they surgical the One Ring, which has got to be the worst choice. And then they don't even did they even exile it? I guess they they did. did was do, I guess I do I have none of this in the yard? That's actually kind of funny. I just assumed that I did. The odds of that are pretty bad. I I also draw the best possible. In the form of Muta Vault. I only have eleven cards in my library, so that's not so good. But yeah, I guess I just somehow just oh I did I did have a Soren. I did have a Soren. Should have surgical bat probably. Hey, K Pons, good to see you. Yeah, it's time, time for that deck. Is it's, yeah, it's it's definitely like it's definitely like a super good Yog Moth card. I would never, I would never like not play Bowmaster. Some people play three. I think you can play three, but playing playing like less than that seems kind of crazy. Opponent, please come on, brother. <laughs> please take a game action. Fine. Outside a couple of the ring and Merktide, any other decks really relying on card draw? Well, I think the ring is becoming more popular. I think this is kind of because Bowmaster is becoming less popular. Did I try some of the players in the elves? I did, yeah. It was like, it was like really good for me off stream. I was like three and one off stream and like zero oh and three on stream. So I don't know. Yeah, I would. I actually, my favorite part about streaming Arena is the rope. I I would love the rope on Magic Online. <laughs> like my opponent took. Between now and this turn, it's been like, it's been like I don't know, two minutes on my turn with like no game actions taken. I think it's becoming more popular. Then why would you be cutting Bowmasters? I mean, it's not it, the ring is still not in any of the like, top decks besides Titan, right? Although maybe the meta game is just all over the place. But, like, you're cutting Bowmasters because, like, the most popular strategies are, like, Leyline Scion stuff. And Bowmasters is so bad against... It's so bad against the Leyline Scion decks. With the exception of Enchantress. It's really good against that one. But it's, like, it's bad against Domain Zoo. It's bad against Yogmoth. It is good against Gorios. It's okay against Tron. Kind of mediocre. Mediocre against Amulet Titan. Good against Berktide. It's good against Omnath. Okay against... Yeah, it looks... Bowmasters actually looks like it's getting better. But it's just bad against the best deck. My game is changing a lot, too. It's, you know, I, I'm feeling... Feeling optimistic about the modern meta game. It's been shifting a lot. I've been having such a good time. So they did have another surgical. They surgical my smallpox. Yeah, the meta game is unhinged. I that is a, a great way to put it. And then they kill me with Jace. They totally didn't need to cast the surgical. <sighs> it's a little tilting. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the Ashiok play sixty one like I did last time. Quick submit. Yeah, Tron's on the rise again, so I have all these Break the Ices in the sideboard. Should have played the Immerkle tanks. Surgical check for Eldrazi. And they've, they've surgical beat twice already that match. <laughs> they should have known there's, like, <laughs> nothing relevant. That's okay. Everything due to modern right now will be relevant once Image 3 drops. Well, that's the thing about brewing is, like, you, you have to like, get, develop the baseline. You have to build these decks so that you have to, like, maximize every idea you can so that when MH3 comes out, you can, like, continue to build upon these ideas. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely weak to psychic damage. Miracle seems really good because of one of Coffer. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> you're not casting it that often off one Coffers. But a little bit better, yeah. We multi four that game. Update my background image with Coat and the new one-mana boots. 
where would they go? I guess just neither of them have a coat. Maybe work. What do you say? Blue white controls in a good moment. Yeah, blue white seems fine. And then make sure you have a plan for Tron. Slapcaster 28 months. Think welcome back. Don't ever mull. But mulling, oh yeah. Mulligan too much that game. Our seven card hand might have won. My opponent has used a big chunk of their cyborg clock. We are up six minutes going into game two. I'm going to keep my seven card hand. Was there ever updates? Yeah, we, we did play Calibrated Blast with uh, Scion Leyline. Oh, it's kind of a lot of people have asked me if I've done that, <laughs> but I, I have done it. There's nobody tuned in that day. Is Mentor plan for Tron? Uh, not, not a good plan. I think I'm going to go Smallpox, discard Ashiok, then I can suspend this Profane Tutor next turn. Oh, sorry, discard Bloodgast. <laughs> I just keep my I, in my brain. I just like I've already discarded blood gas every time. Okay, we are now up seven minutes on the clock. Are we? Wait, no, sorry, still sticks. Any intention to bring the assault package to other archetypes? I mean, we played it like with. Uh, the animist, the 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 one three returns all lands. Splendid reclamation. I don't know if I don't have any other ideas for it at the moment. Yeah, strong strong agree. If you if if a spell's on the stack and you have no reactions, like it, you just don't need to spend two minutes reading it. Usually, <laughs> okay, you can keep a one lander though. I allow this. will concede to Ashiok because mill, mill the one thing mill players hate the most is being milled. There's no worse feeling for the mill player than to than to be milled. You can see a little bit of their cyborg plan. Run in uh lantern and or kept extraction and of course. <laughs> oh no my Urborg <laughs> Urborg Ashiok Nambo <laughs> get smallpox in a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a sword. We gotta get this game with over as soon as we can. Okay, we're about to hit seven minutes ahead on clock. Then I take my coffee. I haven't had coffee in like three months now, but usually just black. I love coffee, but it's it gave me like this weird like acid imbalance. So I've switched to like matcha and tea. And I also found there's this, this is really sick uh, coffee place near me that does great, great tea. Did not mill another blood ghast. Just want to see more of the list. Okay, going to game three. Oh, sorry. I forgot. I don't know why I didn't bring in these Void Walkers. I brought them in last time. <laughs> Too much psychic damage. Is Vayne Ripper the best vampire? Well, there's Edgar Charmed Groom. Well, Darn Epicur. Blood Gas. Pretty good. I really like the Madness Convoke Vampire Lord. Also, I think that card rules. <laughs> what a hand. We do have double Urborg. We can still go Thoughtseize into Void Walker into Sore and Vayne Ripper. How do I renew points for a deck tech? Uh, so you have to wait for it to be available. Uh, I have it set for at a, with a 30 minute cooldown timer. Limit three redeems a stream. And I think that it's probably still on the cooldown if you have the 75. Oh, there you go. Inquiry Bowmasters. Ah, it's a dream to be young. To play Burning Inquiry and Orcish Bowmasters in Narset. Looks very fun. I like the echo of eons here. I feel like this list would be really interested in Ledger Shredder for like consistency into like connive echo into the yard. So 
So they can't cast Glimpse unless I play the Urnborg. I'm not really scared of Soul Guide Lantern either. Archive Trap doesn't do much against me. At the moment. I guess they have the Field of Ruin. Okay, I think I guess with the them having this Field of Ruin, I'll just take the Archive Trap. Yeah, I think there's a chance maybe I'd like to see Ledger Shredder over like you could cut the iterations. You could also cut the Snapcaster pretty easy. You could go down like one Snapcaster, one Narset, two Murktide for Ledger Shredder. I'd also really like to see the second Breach. I guess kind of a Nambo with Echo. Overall, this looks pretty good. I think I want to go minus the Snapcaster, minus the Narset, cut the Murktides for Shredder. Shredder seems really nice. Maybe you can play third Echo of Aeons at that point. How's the mana? Mana looks okay. Don't really have any problems with it that I can see. Maybe, don't know if I played the second Surveil land in this deck. It's obviously fine. 20 lands looks like the right number. Yeah, I probably cut the Unearth for the second breach. Unearth is okay though. You need some Shielders Edicts in your sideboard at the moment for sure, with all of the with all of the Leyland Scion coming around. I don't like this gut shot on the sideboard. I don't like the terminate. They yeah, the, the gut shot terminate heat should probably just be three shielders edicts. Okay, so they found another one. They've milled three blood gas for me though, so. And they've already popped their Soul Guide Lantern. Please tell, tell me you're playing a random deck. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't know how to respond to. Please tell me you're playing a random deck. With them having like the mill trigger on the stack. Okay, they do have, they do have a surgical for my blood gas, which is a little annoying, but fine. Um, I I will say this though, if you know, if you <laughs> if you're gonna play this slow, if you're gonna be down eight minutes on the clock in this kind of game. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe you shouldn't be yapping in the chat. <laughs> maybe you should have your chat privileges revoked. <laughs> if you're ever down eight minutes on the clock, the, the chat block should be blank for you. <laughs> for like two days. Two day timeout. Cook, three months. Thank you. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Hope vampires find a place in modern. Yeah, this this list has been feeling pretty good so far. They glimpse me, then they can draw three off their visions. Taking for nine, and then I, I can technically get two. I can get two from the push, five from the Soren. So nine plus seven is 16. So one short at the moment. Plays a Boro. Plays Ruin Crab. Thought sees them first. Glimpse and a Soul Guide Lantern. The library has 20 or fewer, so I'll take the glimpse. Push here. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, I didn't get the dice trigger on the crab. Oh, I think I forgot to I forgot to put a counter on the Vein Ripper. Does it really matter? They're just dead next turn. I guess it could matter. You can't sack Dothy if you attack. Yeah, I, I know, but it's like if I sack Dothy, I'm getting them for two instead of three. So I feel like I should just be doing this most of the time, just attacking. Was it better to sack Dothy than push? Maybe it was at that point, yeah. But also, like, do we want to draw three off the visions? Kind of, but. It's, like, really awkward if, like, I just give them, like, the exaxes to mill. Like, it's hard to mill 25 in a turn. Milling 20 in a turn is a lot more doable. That being said, my opponent is dead on board with no possible cards that could save them. So we're going to take another five minutes in this game. Probably going to go GG's. Huge fan. Love your stream. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard to field. <laughs> I don't know. You're minus nine minutes. It, minus nine minutes on the clock. You can't chat in the moto chat. This feels super fair. The chat becomes it just get gets deleted. You have a message. Please play faster. This feels like a super fair change to Magic Online. 
I'm I'm campaigning on this change. You're down. Uh, what's what's the number? Six minutes. Down six minutes. You can't chat. <laughs> they said one thing. Yeah, I know they said one thing. But are they typing up here? I know they only said one thing. But brother, look, you're, they're down ten minutes. They've been playing this whole match so painfully slow. <laughs> I I just don't feel that bad. The more you say it, the more they're gonna play slow. I know. But it's just it's just such poor etiquette. It's just it's it's really it's really you know poor etiquette. At this point, they're just doing it on purpose. Maybe they're anxious to do on TV. Yeah, maybe it, it's it, it doesn't matter though at this point. At this point, it's just egregious. Still, all right. Let's get a trophy prediction going since we're three and zero. Just like, just, yeah, this this is just BM, I don't know. So upsetting. Yeah, you got a mulligan this, despite having Soren Vein Ripper. Oh, we have Soren Vein Ripper again. I guess I'm just going to put back the smallpox. I also have Urborg Coffers, Kek W. Turn one, Surveil Land. Hope they're not an Archon of Cruelty deck. That's pretty good against Vein Ripper. They are they are a creativity deck. I do have the Orvar in the sideboard. Paid the creativity tax, not the mill tax, I guess. We're also a ring deck. Love to draw land. I would really love to draw land. Oof. And a really good land too. It's gonna main phase this. Could be playing some spell pierces. So my hand's pretty good. I, I think I'm almost definitely tutoring for a land. Don't know which land though. Surveil land? Surveil land doesn't even do anything because I'm gonna tutor again next turn. No, yeah, no, I, I would get Orvar here if it were in the deck. We do have the Orvar for games two and three. Basic swamp. I guess Mute Vault, let's get Mute Vault. And then just gonna play this so that I have untapped land for next turn. Thoughts use for next turn could be a good card. Seems seems good enough to keep on Oh I'm I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not drawing it. I forgot the profane tutor. I guess they could Teferi and I could draw it. Oh I'm drawing it if the ring resolves though. <laughs> Could the worm version of creativity work in modern? There's not it doesn't really seem to be like a, a significant advantage to playing that build over um Archon. Like you just have to ask yourself, like, why why would you, you know? And I, I don't think that there's a super super clear reason why you would. So now what do we tutor? Smallpox? Smallpox looking pretty reasonable. They're going to sack just one of these, though. Could go for Liliana. I'm going to get the smallpox. These, like, full-value smallpoxes are just, just kind of too good to pass up on. So how much mana do I have? Five, six, seven. So I can go Thoughtseize, smallpox, second ring if I want to, or Soren Vein Ripper, depending on what their hand looks like. Let's take creativity. Then cast the smallpox. Gonna discard the profane tutor. And it's two Dover mines and a bolt. Let me see what my top card is. I wonder. I wonder like how often I'm choosing to do something besides. Oh well, you know what? No, it's just we're still gonna soar in Vein Ripper. If they top deck another creativity, it's obviously not super ideal. But we're also 
Not doing the worst because we still have the ring in play. What did they do with this? They put a wood of foothills in their graveyard. So they're not emphatically just playing their Dwarven Mine. Looks like they drew Rin and Six. A little early to say GG, but it seems pretty unlikely they'll get out of it from here. Can animate move us like to Archon? The thing is they would they would get two Archons this turn. So let's animate coffers, or activate coffers, animate mutavolt. I know that last card is just a Dorvin mine, so I'm not going to cast this Thoughtseize. I am going to sack the mutavolt, kill the reflection, fatal push the dwarf token, and just leave a push on their turn after. Smacking them for six. So now we even beat a top deck creativity. Should have no outs. Oh yeah, I guess I could have tapped the Muta Vault for mana. This doesn't really matter. So we're up a game against creativity. While we're 3-0. And, oh, and we get to slide this Orvar over here. Seems pretty good. Um, Fatal Push isn't like the worst card. I think I'm just going to bring in Purge. Purge gets rid of Ren and Six, Archon, Fable. Kling is good against Ren and Six. They can play Persist sometimes. Solemn with the 27. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Get your Bloodgast. Kind of like all the Bloodgast, though. I kind of need them for Soren to be better, too. I guess I'll just cut the Kling. Don't really want to cut any. Could cut, it's like between that or maybe Liliana, number four. I guess Liliana's not that good against Rin and Six. She's kind of mediocre in this matchup. Makes sense to play Ashok over Lily. I'm kind of down for Ashok on the play, not the draw. Maybe still good on the draw. Natty Orvar. Yep. It's been a long time since I've Orvard. Orvar is a vampire, by the way. When it's on a mold of six on the play. Huh, I guess you can actually. It, it is actually makes sense to put this into play of Soren sometimes so that you can copy your Vein Ripper. I guess <laughs> that would that would be quite the achievement to unlock. Thought the over Lilian being able to cast Archon sometimes. Yeah, you could. I just kind of don't like turning on their like lightning bolts so much, because they probably just keep those in the deck. Not mind drawing a smallpox. <laughs> okay, so they could thought seize the Orvar just to get it out of the way. I would get to to ramp effectively. Copy Vein Ripper Hal. You could you could just use Fatal Push too. To um target your Vein Ripper to trigger it. Although I, I boarded out my Fatal Pushes, so not that likely. Okay, let's copy the flagstones and just get a surveil. Always feels good uh, when they have to thought seize your Orvar and this happens. Even a little bit better this time. Um, so let's do this again. They did they did definitely buff Flagstones of Trick Hair. It took us a little while to notice. This is like the only way to ever cast a ring on turn three in the stack. That's kind of fun. I can also use Takanuma to get Orvar back into my hand. <laughs> Why did they pick Orvar? Did I mind saving them? What's it's a very difficult card for them to beat. Thought it made some sense. I take my Vein Ripper, three cards in their hand. I'm gonna play the Urborg so that if I draw my one of coffers, it's it's live. Uh, 
I thought it was called The One Ring. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so yeah, some creativity players do play Manatize. They like are all about it. Okay, so they play a Fibile. See what we draw. Okay, definitely taking persist, and then I suppose I'm also just gonna go edict your fable token. Looking good. They draw another archon, it's not, you know, the best case. They discard two archons. Gab, thanks for the raid. A lot of Gab raids lately, thank you so much. We are 3-0 up a game playing Vampire Pox. <laughs> Updated Vampire Pox. Now we may be ta using Takanuma to get back Orvar to copy their Archon here, but let's see what we draw. So punish for discarding the Swamp. Thought we'd draw one. I think I'll cast the Thoughtseize. Okay. So they have one Archon in their deck. And I don't know, this, this line is just kind of like too sick for me to not do. They know about Takanuma, yeah. Hard to play around this. So do I have to block? I'm, gonna, I'm going up to 10. Oh, this is a 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> we have Terminate? Bitter Triumph. Wow, random Bitter Triumph. Discarding Pick Your Poison, which I guess they're going to discard anyways. So I go up to 10, take 5, then take 3. Okay. Okay, so I'll draw four. So let's go Soren, put Vein Ripper into play. Play the Urborg to bring back Bloodgast. Cast Smallpox. Discard Bloodgast. Sacrifice Bloodgast. Sacrifice Flagstones. Bring back two Bloodgasts. Trigger Vein Ripper twice. And then I can cling to dust to not... I guess I'm not, not dying to my ring anyways. I'll save the cling to dust since they're Persist deck. Go to one versus one in six. Not play yeah, we're thankfully we're not going to one. Oh, we also get to attack with our Bloodgast here. Wow. Yeah, I think this deck is really sick. Vayn Vayn Ripper has been like way better than I expected it to be too. I'm sure, you have a bit more Vayn Ripper experience, Gab. Okay, long ago, <laughs> long ago during the Crimson Val Trophy race, our first trophy, we bro we broke the all-time trophy record that season, and it all started with Vampire Pox. Edgar Charmed Groom. and <laughs> But now we've had a few upgrades with Ring and Vein Ripper and also these cards being good again. Mm, well, we have Flagstone Smallpox. We don't have Black Mana. I'm going to keep this hand. So then chat the other day. Yeah, I, I kind of I kind of figured other people would have already said it. I, just, I, I can't read every chat, you know what I mean? As much as I would love to. All right, on the draw trophy match. I thought about that today. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, when I said that, I kind of felt like maybe I had been hearing it, and but I wasn't really listening. I'll do better. We can scam. Ragavan's good on the play. We'll draw a small box. 
There we do we do predictions at three and oh already already did the prediction. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe people say nor in the wear in the chat and my brain just blanks. Be wild if Satoru isn't playable in any deck. Yeah, like yesterday, someone's like, like, hey, what do you think of Satoru Nate with Aether Vault? Like, mm, seems okay. And then the people were like, oh, this card is also good with <laughs> Evoke Incarnations and Ephemerate and Cascade cards. It just card seems like it just rules. Oof. Very good start from our opponent after I'm stumbling a bit. Smallpox isn't even I mean it's, I guess I'd still take it, but not in good shape. I did draw the smallpox. So, wish granted. I can't imagine I'm not supposed to just cast it. So, I'll still discard blood gas, although it will get exiled. So, if they sacrifice the void walker, I get to sacrifice my flagstones. Oh, they sacrificed this card in Kroxa. Kroxa's been looking good lately. Okay, so let me sacrifice still flagstones, I guess, because I've drawn another copy. It's pretty devastating. Main phase bolts me. Why? Then scams their Voidwalker for Liliana. I guess that's why. I don't know if it was better to keep the Muta Vault. Losing this Coffer is also stinks. I think I'm supposed to submit, suspend the Tutor. Don't really see like a super clear path to victory this game. Maybe if I was on the play or had it mulligan. I don't know. I'm down to 10. I guess the Liliana Edict is maybe just going to be like a Stone Rain. I guess. I'm, <laughs> I'm just drawing the cards, you know. I gotta cast them. So now I can get flagstones to have insulation against the Liliana ultimate. They have to discard their terminate. Have to. Yeah, I'm gonna tutor flagstones. Hopefully keep drawing expensive cards. Now I drew land. Hopefully they just thirstily ultimate this Liliana. No. They can look at the board state. Ooh. No, that's good against Liliana. Is there an out to Lily? I'm going to attack it, I guess. They try Croaks and Jund Roots. Um, yeah, it, the Cling to Dust is better. It's way easier to cast and can trigger Roots twice. <laughs> Edict's my blood gas. Okay. Minus two loyalty. Not looking for a land, I guess. Yikes. Be hard to beat. Best draw smallpox. Would it get to kill this, attack the Liliana? No, I'm looking to draw like Soren or is this spell or ability or just spell? Yeah, just spell. So looking to draw Soren maybe, or my my own Liliana. Like I said, the Edict Liliana Soren's not, not a live draw. This is exactly how Gen players want the game to be. I don't know. I really enjoy these games. <laughs> no outs? I guess Soren's an out if they, do, if they plus. All right, even casting Vayne Ripper, not good enough. 
a ballista. Okay, so I'm bringing in these purges. I don't want to keep two thought seasons in. I think two is a good number. Could cut the fourth ring. Seems I probably like the card to trim. I like Profane Tutor a lot against them, actually. Or if I could be funny. Mm. I guess they have Croaks in their deck. No, Voidwalker's not good. It's just too fragile. Like right now, we're pretty immune to creature removal or resilient to it. All of a sudden, we turn on their bolts and stuff pretty hard. I think I shouldn't bring it in. No, Liliana is really good against them. I'm not going to cut Liliana. Or if our copy and Croaks, it seems like overkill. Well, you copy something else, probably. You don't usually copy Croaks. So. Yeah, yeah, they, they stole. They, they, they actually might have their own Lilianas. That's actually been kind of popular. It's okay, Sugar Band. I, I want to work on it myself. I don't really want to look at another list. Croaks is garbage. Yeah, I, I think people are missing, like, why. I, like, like so over is just nice to discard to the Croaks to trigger. You copy the best permanent in play. It's not, it's not that we're like excited about copy. You don't have to copy whatever is making you discard the card. You can copy any permanent in play. But I think I think I'm gonna not bring it in and we'll reassess for game three. Okay. I mean this hand this hand rules, uh, since we have Soren Vein Ripper. I'm gonna lead on Urborg so that we can draw flagstones and smallpox on turn two. Why four or work instead of less? As I can end casting six mana ripper. We've cast a lot of six mana vein rippers. Do you, we also have a? We, I want to be able to play this one cabal coffers as a tutor target. Um, you, if you have extra orbs, you can discard them or sack them a lot of the time. <coughs> um, but we, <laughs> I, I'm I'm very happy with the four of number. Let's having having the first copy of this. I think is really good too. Probably taking Soren, right? Yeah, take Soren. Flagstones. I mean, I'm not gonna get to get grief with this. I have my own thought seasons in my deck, so I'm just gonna just gonna cast that. May end up Takanuming back Soren, so we'll play coffers here. Okay. Let's cast that. Probably just discarding second smallpox. That makes sense. I'm gonna float two mana. And cast bowmasters after this resolves. Also makes sense. So I gotta wait it to turn on the smallpox, but then I like don't let them cast a blood moon or um Fable maybe illusions with the 35. Thank you so much. Also feel this uh, cling to dust, maybe. I'll put a land on top if I see it on top, I think. So then I just... Oh, I'm going to get my game freaking sore. <laughs> Almost three years, hell yeah. Hopefully see you next month, Illusions. Thoughts on how many copies of cards you have in the sideboard, difference between four, three, and two. Uh, I, I know people are like always look for truth look for insight with these kind of questions, but it just depends. You know what I mean? Oh, they snapped, snap took the push. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, I should push here. So this way I just go like cast Soren. So I took one one extra damage, but uh I want to be able to cast Soren this turn and then have the ability to draw land, even a tap land, and Vein Ripper. I get that one of those equine tutor. I don't know, it just you, you can ask me like a question about a specific cyborg card, but I just I don't want to have to like go through every single card of my cyborg and explain why I have every number right now. But if you have a specific question about some numbers, you can. But yeah, this is Tutorable Profane Tutor, Tutorable Profane Tutor. So I did draw the land. So I guess what I should probably do to play around Lightning Bolt is go minus Soren. I'm holding control right now. Minus Soren. And then in response to this, channel Takanuma. So that if my opponent had Bolt, they can't just Bolt in response to me channeling Takanuma.
Purge 4. Um, Purge is for Leyline Scion, Yogwath, and Scams. Pretty versatile sideboard card. I think it's a pretty good removal spell at the moment. I guess I should not be of 6 because people are playing a lot of Shielders Edicts at the moment. Okay, so they got to sacrifice their Orc Army. It's okay. I drained them for 4. Got three cards in their hand. I got Cling to Dust, Herbor Cabal Coffers, Mutavolt Soren. Feeling all right. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait a turn on the Cling. Mutavolts have been pretty good in the stack. So they did get up to three mana. They're just passing. The second Citadel 2 inconsistent there. I only have one Cabal Coffers in my deck. This is, this is not a second Citadel list. This is like a one of Profane Tutor target in a deck that already wants to play a six drop and a bunch of Urborgs. Kologon's Command, Return Shielder and Kill Soren. Okay. So we get to put our opponent to one. I'm surprised that Kologon's Command took so long to cast. I guess you got a lot of modes. Going to game three, dude. A, a vampire pox trophy. Be so fucking sick. I think I, think I like how we've sideboarded too. I like profane tutor a lot in this matchup. And click the submit button. Plus the new mana rule, two mana rule wall cheapest version effect we have. It is. I mean, there's also deafening silence, but that's only non creatures. Um. I will say I basically never wanted to register the card Rule of Law on my modern sideboards. Uh, I, I, but also because that card's three mana, so I can certainly see this being an okay sideboard card at some point. Not the most glowing review, I guess. Is Ashok worth it? Not in this matchup, but it, 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 it's it's the first copy of Ashok's really good because you can profane tutor for it against Titan. Personally, feel like skipping the curve from six to five. Four Vein Ripper is not worth the Coffer slot. I mean, the Coffer is just an insane tutor target in a deck with four Profane Tutors and four Erdborg. I the, the Coffer's hasn't been like a perfect card or anything, but I've been I've been happy to have it. I I it's been better to have than to not have. It's it's certainly like been a big part of us winning mini games today. And it's also been like bad a couple times to draw or like we had surveilled it to the graveyard one time when any any other one would be good, so I I'm also like you know, typically the biggest hater of uh the biggest hater of Cabal Coffers, but I just can't imagine that the first copy isn't correct. Tough for them to have assembled grief scam here. Two pretty obvious cards for taking here. Is Leyline even good against me? It's okay. It's it's. I don't know if it's how worth it is bringing in. Stops Flagstone. Stops Bloodgast. Stops some Vein Ripper triggers. Wait, they also have Thoughtseize or Ragavan. Okay, Thoughtseize isn't so bad. So looking for Profane Tutor. Looking for Soren. Looking for another Purge. Come on, one time. <laughs> They've already, you've already discarded me three times. Just draw a Leyline of the Void. Down to 16. Bye, sweet Soren. Thossies is my Liliana. One turn drawn. We're drawn one turn too late. Whew, that's a top deck, brother. <laughs> that's a fucking top deck. And also, they can't kill the Rain Ripper this turn. They they just die to it because they can't. I guess they could edict it after. 
Huge double top decks. I know, brother, and <laughs> I played the game too. Wow, it's been it's been a couple years. It's been a couple years. But we have a uh, trophied with vampire pox again. <laughs> Open the ley line binding. Deck is sick too. Deck is really sick. Pay out the believers. Unironically, Vampire Pox is back. Let's fucking go. Ha <laughs> ha